There has always been some sort of mini series for Disney cars, whether it be the mini adventures back in 2008 and 2009, or just a couple years ago, the micro drifters that were more meant for play sets and launchers. They were actually a lot of fun, but unfortunately died off and paved the way for these. The current line of minis called mini racers that are centered mostly around Cars 3, but they are now expanding to the other movies as well. And I have to say, this is probably the most popular series they've ever made, and the amount of minis that they've released is about to surpass the amount they did for mini adventures. So pretty cool. Here are all of mine. We got some normal releases in here. We got some customs, of course, those Apple racers. We got a canceled mini over here. But unfortunately, this is only a percentage of the minis they've released. There's a lot more. And today, we'll be diving into them. Alright, so I've had this massive pile of mini racer baggies on my desk over there, which is just like on the other side of this table over that way for months. And it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger because I find more racers and I just pile them on top and it's been bad. Like, there's no enjoyment in seeing this stack on my table. I'd much rather have them open. So today's the day I call it enough I call it quiz and we're gonna just do like a scavenger hunt and see which ones I need to open because I really don't know at this point I have this stack I have a whole box of them over here as well so thankfully I have this checklist of mini racers that has the mini and the number that corresponds to it which they are on the back here so 27 that would be fabulous lightning McQueen right there as you can see the numbers all match up Hopefully they're accurate so I don't open up minis I already have. So we'll see what happens and we're actually going to start with some of these multi-packs here because you know that would make the most sense because for example you have Chester Whipple Filter and Cruz as Francis Beltline which are both in the singles but they're also available in this three pack with the exclusive or first look Mr. Drippy. So might as well open this to get all three of them instead of doing like the minis and then opening this one. So let's just crack it open. I found a lot of these at Walmart. They're not too hard to find. The bags though, on the other hand are much harder to find for me and I bought nearly every bag of the new ones at like Meyer. Those are like the best places to find the bags for me personally. Kroger is also a good place I've heard as well, but the one that's near me is, it's not really near me, but closest one is like 20 miles away. Mr. Drippy looks awesome. Now this isn't really going to be a review. I will be showing each and every one, but since there's so many, I just want to get through all of them instead of taking like two minutes on each because you know me, I'd compare them to the full size ones and all the other variations of Light McQueen. But yeah, that is probably the best three pack they've released because all three of them are pretty new for me. Like, I mean, I think most people who would find that three pack, they don't already have any of the cars in it. Now we'll move on to this pack, which is much worse in my opinion, because of course we already have Ramon and Mater. We're just opening this to get the first look at red. But not a big deal, you know what? They're not that expensive either, only like six bucks, which, you know, that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. So, here we go with Red. Always happy to get another Townie. I think they just need to release Fillmore, Sally, Guido. I think they are planning on even doing a Guido. And that's pretty much it. This does move a little bit, which is a little weird. But he looks awesome. They were supposed to have Sally and Fillmore in this Amazon like 21 pack, which is right here. I'll talk about it in a little bit, but they actually kind of falsely advertised that and they were not included, which was a bummer for me because I was really looking forward to getting them since they looked awesome, but they should be coming out still just a little bit later. So we're done with that three pack. We got one left here. This one only has Rusty's Crew, so again, kind of a boring three pack, but it is what it is. This one does actually come with a poster, which the other two did not. This pack's a little different, it's a little darkier. But here's Rusty's Crews. Sweet. 
probably one of the worst three packs though because none of the cars are really too exciting they're like the most common ones jackson and cars three mcqueen but that's fine that's fine i don't mind having extras i'll just use them in like giveaways or something like that but yeah here's that 21 pack from amazon came with this little like map or checklist whatever it's pretty nice though being double-sided but it said they're going to have brand new mater Fillmore, Sally, Glow in the Dark, Mater, and these two silver ones as the new releases, but the only new ones were actually the silver ones, thankfully, and this Glow in the Dark, Danny Suarez. So we'll take those out because I don't have those already displayed. Yeah, this guy actually does Glow in the Dark, which is pretty cool. They're starting to work on those now. They've done Glow in the Dark, Jackson Storm and Tim Treadless in the newest bags, which are just now being found across the world. Here are the two silver ones, which look absolutely amazing. Also, out of this 21 pack, I need Smokey. Ironically, I know he's been released so long ago, but I just never got him out of the bags. But he has been in a couple multi-packs that I've bought, so we'll just take him out of this one. And then I also need Metallic Doc Hudson here because he's like brand new to the bags as well. And so might as well just get him out of this multi-pack instead of, you know, needlessly opening up another bag. And lastly is a flow up here. The rest of them I already have displayed as shown in the beginning of the video. Flo is one of my new favorites. She's like awesome. I love the fins on here. They're like really, really big. They're awesome. But yeah, that is all from that pack, which was disappointing because it didn't have the other new ones I mentioned, but it's nice to get these out of it. And then we have one more multi-pack before we get into the bags here, which is this big one. And the ones I need out of this are Metallic Tim Treadless, Metallic Danny Suarez, and the first look at Metallic Rusty's McQueen. Hopefully we can open this up without much difficulty. Here we go, I got it all unboxed and now it's just in its shell. We're gonna open up using this little notch and take out the goodies. I love that like orange, almost gold foil on him, looks great. Danny's metallic looks good too, but usually when you take darker colors and make them metallic, it doesn't look as good. But of course, McQueen's red looks amazing. Wow, there's like some Spectre Flame. What a glow to that car. Even though it's kind of like a boring variation. Just Rusty's McQueen. I would have preferred maybe some sort of new color. I mean, they're doing some, you know, stuff like that. You know, branching out into more creative designs. So maybe they could have done like a pink McQueen. That would have been awesome. That would have attracted a lot of attention. But anyway, there is another multi-pack that has some new cars for me. But since it's so big... I would prefer to save it for another video. I will show it though real quick. It is that one that you may see at Target that contains the first looks at Metallic Rusty's Racing Center McQueen and Intro Ramon there. So we'll just put that one aside and move on to the baggies with everyone he came for and what I'm really excited for. So I highlighted the ones that I need. APB Jimbo, a bunch of Demolition Derby cars pretty much. This guy I need as well, but he's in that one playset, which I hopefully will do a video on eventually. And I need all of these, but I know I don't have any of them because they are brand spanking new. So 27, that is one that we already went over. We have 20 here. 20 is supposed to be Jimbo, so let's see if it holds true. I really, really hope so. Awesome, it succeeds. Success, awesome. Jimbo looks great. I love how well like they portray the die cast in such a small way. Like the character still looks like himself even though it's scaled down so much. And here is the little poster, which we've seen before, you know, on the back of the packages and stuff like that. It's nothing new. They do have that new wave that I just showed you guys, you know, that bottom portion of the page. That's some really cool stuff here where the package is completely redesigned. So hopefully I can get some of those soon. All right, I do need 19 for APB. Oh, here's 35. This is supposed to be fair game. Let's do it. Uh, 
awesome. It's weird that they released Fair Game, the mini, before they did the 155 scale die cast. Wrong order, Mattel. You're supposed to do it the other way around, but I guess they are branching out. And that poster should be the same. Yeah, it's the same. All right. 33. That's Metallic Hudson Hornet. Don't need him. 36. Fishtail. Sweet. Chugging along nicely here. Like this one from the bottom. Yep. Perfect. I like that one a lot. I know they're supposed to do like a three pack with Fishtail, APB, or somebody else, and Sigalert as the exclusive. So I definitely like to see that one soon. 30 is Flo. Don't need her. 18, that is Cruz S. Francis Beltline. Don't need her. 34, Taco. All right. Another demolition derby car. So far, so good in having the numbers match up with what I actually want. I know there's like a lot of mini series out there for other brands where it's like completely blind and it's like, I cannot handle the stress of that. Like that is too much for me. This is 19, this should be ATB. But I like when it's concrete where like there's some mystery to it, but you can still find out who's in it if you really want to, which is, you know, encourages people to get all of them because if it was a mystery, then people would just, you know, know that it'd be so hard to get all of them and they wouldn't even try. So to have a numbering system, it helps. Here is APB. He's actually on the bag, I believe. Yeah, he's down there. Cool. I like how they even put the little exhaust pipes in his hood there and made him stick out. That's a nice detail. All right, 15, that's metallic Danny Swervez. All right, I don't know. There's not too many I need now. 38, metallic Cruz Ramirez. It's quite the high number. 17, that's Chester Whipple filter. 19, that's another APB. Why do I have two? 14, Metallic Jackson Storm. Too many of those. 16's Metallic Tim Treadless. 17 is Chester Whipple filter. All right, that's a lot. 18's another Cruises Francis, what the heck? 20, another Jimbo. 10. All right. This is on the old packaging, which I don't need any from the old packaging. So I can just put those aside because they have like a different numbering system. Old package. This one. 14. That's Metallic Jackson Storm again. What? All right. I need Metallic Lightning McQueen. This is 13. That should be RV. This is old. These are old. All right, we gotta go into the big box now. I'm looking for 28. That is 24. And that is Sarge. This one's already open. What's going on? 17. What is 17? That's Chester Whipple filter again. That's already opened. I'm getting a little worried here, guys. That's old. That's really old packaging when they had the white boxes. 28? Oh, yes. This is the one. All right. This is the final one. Thank God. Yes. There we go. Metallic Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. And in comparison to the Metallic Rusty's McQueen, here they are. Different expression, I like that. Awesome, I'm pumped about that. I was getting a little worried that I wouldn't find that one because there's so many in here. But yeah, I think we got them all. I already told you about Dirt Track McQueen. Got those, got those. All right, so now the hunt is on for these. I have to say, the King and Metallic Dynaco Chick, I love those, those are amazing. I already actually have these silver, this silver one. I need Silver Natalie, Metallic Ramon, Glow in the Dark Tim and Jackson, and Thomas Will Cruz, which is another one that they are 
releasing before the 155 scale die cast. But all right, that is all for this video. I got a big mess I got to clean up now. But thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know in the comment section below, out of all these minis, which one is your favorite? I think these are some of my favorites right here, personally. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.